these are the three vertebrae that you need to know. This is the cervical, this is the thoracic, and this is the lumbar. They do not look anything alike. This kind of looks like a fishtail, this kind of looks like a giraffe, and this one kind of looks like a moose. They all have very distinct looking features, but their landmarks are pretty similar. They all have the same names of landmarks. So let's start with the cervical vertebrae. The cervical vertebrae are the first seven vertebrae in your spine. Starting with the first two, you've got the atlas, which actually holds up the skull, and then the axis. This is what the first two cervical vertebrae look like. So the first one on top is the atlas that holds up your skull, or if you want to think about it, the atlas is like a world map and it's holding up the world. It's holding up your skull. The one on the bottom is the axis. We know that this is the axis because of this process right here. This is called the odontoid process or the dens. So this is uh, an anterior view and this is the posterior view. The rest of the seven vertebrae look something like this. So the common features of the vertebrae are the body, the vertebral arch, the vertebral foramen, the transverse processes, which are here and here, the pedicles, And the way that I remember where the pedicles are is by the root word ped. Ped meaning pedicure or pedestrian. It has to do with the feet. So the pedicles are the feet of the body. Next is the laminae, the surface here and here. Think of surface like a laminated sheet of paper. Smooth. Then you've got the superior articulating facets and the inferior articulating facets here and here. Finally, the fishtail, the spinous process. So the way I'm looking at this now this is the anterior portion, and this is the posterior portion. Now, this is the anterior portion, and this is the posterior portion. Next we have the thoracic vertebrae, the one that kind of looks more like a giraffe. The thoracic vertebrae has all the same features as the cervical vertebrae, except for a few new ones. So we still have a body, we still have two pedicles, a vertebral arch, a vertebral foramen, transverse processes, a spinous process, a superior articulating facet, and an inferior articulating facet. So you still have laminae, but the thoracic vertebrae has a special feature and it is the superior and inferior costal facets as well as the transverse costal facet. This is where the rib attaches. So on the body of the thoracic vertebrae and on the transverse process. You've got those three specific landmarks. This is a lumbar vertebrae. There are five lumbar vertebrae so, like the others, there's a body, two pedicles, laminae, transverse processes, spinous process. Now, the superior articulating facets are pointed more inwards, like I'm clapping hands, like this. And the inferior articulating facets are pointed down and back or a little bit down and out. 